The historical city of Krakow is located in southern Poland, about 200 km south of Warsaw. Between the 18th century and early 20th century, the Jewish people prospered in Krakow. During this period, the Jews of Krakow numbered approximately 68,000, a third of the city's population. Apparently, there was even a separate parliament for the Jews. The centre of Jewish life in Krakow was located in the area called Kazmierz, which is southeast of the old city. It is here that many synagogues were built, each with their own unique character. There was even a ritual slaughterhouse of animals in the main market square. Fatefully, all this would come to an end when Adolf Hitler's Nazis entered Poland on September 1939. The Jews of Krakow were ordered to leave their homes. 15,000 Jews were sent to Podgorz Ghetto on the other side of the river Wisła. The short walk crossed over the Most Poswano Bridge and into the small suburb of Podgorz. A high ward surrounded the ghetto and anyone trying to escape would be shot. It would appear that Podgorge was chosen due to its close proximity to the railway. It would be used as transportation to the concentration camp of Plaskow, 1.5 miles southeast of Krakow, and Auschwitz extermination camp, 20 miles west of Krakow. Ironically, it was a German, Oskar Schindler, who saved the most Polish Jews. Oskar Schindler opened up an, an animal ware factory close to the ghetto, on the opposite side of the railway tracks. Recently, the factory has been renovated. At the entrance is the Schindler Museum, and the main factory area houses a modern art gallery. The synagogues of Kashmir today are in remarkably good condition. The Nazis never destroyed these synagogues, unlike the concentration camps, plus the fact that Krakow was never bombed by the Allies. Renovations have been carried out on the remaining synagogues, although only one, Remo, remains in active use as a place of worship today. The reason for this is because only 200 of three quarters of a million inhabitants of Krakow are Jewish. Walking around Kazmaris, one can imagine what life was like for the Jews up until the Second World War. It is strange to see Jewish restaurants selling non-kosher food. What next? A Yiddish tribute band playing in the main square complete with false beards and sideburns? Or maybe even a tribute rabbi performing circumcisions for curious tourists? Ouch! Please visit Krakow. There is so much to see and do, such as the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camps, the beautiful old town of Krakow with its impressive town square, the salt mines, and the historical Wawel Castle. The majority of Krakowians are now warm and friendly. You will not be disappointed, that is guaranteed. <laughs> Sing mir zusammen.